Hi everybody, welcome to another episode. My name is Apila. If you're new here, and this is a platform where I'm sharing my simple city lifestyle as I'm growing up to my 40s, and I also do some sit downs, and that is me focusing on things that are important to me and I value, and things that bring me peace. And one of the things that bring me peace is having a relationship with God. And I have been indulging the word of God for a couple of months now, and I thought of like sharing those lessons with someone out there who might find value in them and with me i've got my bible as i have been indulging in the word of god for a couple of months with a motive of like getting to know myself getting to know my identity having a relationship with god and so many other reasons that made me to indulge in the word of god i'm sorry about the noise if you get to hear that not so i've got a lot of lessons it's been an amazing journey i've got a lot of lessons uh in the word of god i've been a learner of god and i'm I'm, I'm, I'm planning on being a land of God. As in forever, I'm planning to be to be a land of the Word of God. So um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot, but I just want to share four lessons with you guys that I got from the Word of God. And I just don't, I don't want to talk a lot. I don't want to talk a lot because me myself, I don't want to like hear a person talking for a lot of time. So I get straight to the lesson. The first lesson that I got, it is persevering persevering i have been that girl who was struggling with persevering you know when i face troubles when i face challenges i get to like lose you know the positivity you know i get to be stuck in my i get to be stuck and be attached in my feelings you know and it's difficult for me to just think positively my faith just runs out of the window whenever i am facing challenges but the Lord taught me to persevere and I got this in the word of God which is in James yes in James chapter 1 yeah I think it's chapter 1 it's in James James chapter 1 verse 2 I just read it to you guys quickly uh, verse 2 to 3 it says consider it pure joy my brothers and sisters whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of it develops a perseverance perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything so whenever i'm facing troubles and challenges because obviously for us as humans in this life we're going to face challenges it's not the first and the last time one gets to face challenges on that particular time they get to face challenges challenges are still to to, to come so one needs the tools so one needs the tools uh, to 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 protect themselves whenever they get to face face challenges at a time. And one of those tools is to persevere, is to endure. The Lord has been teaching me to endure and persevere because uh, not long ago, not long ago, I was praying for something. I was in a huge challenge. Um, according to how I felt and how I saw it. I was in a huge challenge and I was praying to God to just intervene, you know, and I was trusting God, having confidence that the Lord would just pull it through, you know. So I had that in mind and things happened the other way and I got demotivated, I got um, disappointed on God, you know, I got questions when it comes to God. I was just a mess, I was just a mess and it happened that uh, I didn't have a relationship, a good relationship with God, but the Lord with His grace uh, and His deep love, he brought, he brought me back to Him by revealing a message through one of my brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, about you know whenever we're facing challenges that is this what I just read to you guys whenever we're facing challenges our character is being molded our character is being um, uh, is being rebuilt you know so that whenever we face challenges again we are not uh, those fragile beings who who can like quickly crash you know uh, I'm supposed to be strong in the Lord I'm supposed to have strength in the Lord and whenever I'm facing those challenges again I'm supposed to be strong in the Lord I'm supposed to persevere because the Lord has revealed it to me so it was just an amazing um, it was just an amazing eye-opening uh, information to find out by the Lord's grace so that was the first lesson that I got from reading the word of God so moving on to the next lesson the next lesson was not to kiss yeah, I think yeah. The next lesson was not to kiss. 
and again guys and again i don't want to lie i've been that girl who's been like kissing you know when you kiss in english and not see it as being a big girl for d or it doesn't sound like kissing it looks cute or whatever of which me as a black person as a black girl you know coming from you know in my language whenever you kiss it just sounds the way it is it doesn't romantize or something it romance I don't know the word, yeah, but it doesn't make it all cute and all they just say is it like it is, you know, but when you get to like said, say something in English or like kiss in English, it doesn't sound as if, you know, for me, I don't know whether it's me or what, but I was that guy was doing that and the Lord rebuked me, the Lord corrected me through his word in James chapter 3, verse, it's verse, it's verse 9, James 3, verse 9. He says, With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we kiss men who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and kissing. My brothers, this should not be. This should not be. The same mouth I'm praising God, the same mouth I'm saying hallelujah with. I should not be kissing any other human being who's made in the likeness of God. That's big. That's big. So, I felt like the Lord was correcting me. The, the Lord was teaching me. You know, as a lady, I'm a learner of God now. So, I feel like this journey is just putting me together, you know. So, ever since I heard it, uh, I've seen things in a different way. I've seen things in a different way. And I am more mindful of what I say because the tongue is, 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 is a powerful weapon. It says in this this word so the lord told me not to kiss you know moving on to the third lesson the third lesson the lord taught me to be humble to his grace to be humble to him to be humble to his beings to just be a humble being and he taught me this in james chapter 4 verse 6 he says but he gives us more grace that is why scripture says god opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble he opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble. And mean I need that grace, Jane, because my human efforts cannot take me anywhere. My human efforts, they are always failing. Most of the time, my human efforts don't make me right by God. It is true faith in Christ Jesus that I get to be right by God. His grace, it brings me back to Him. If my human efforts were being looked before I get close to God, I'm telling you I'll be in trouble. So... I need that grace. With me needing that grace, I have to be humble. I have to always be humble to God. I have to always respect God. I have to be always humble to people and not look down at people, no matter whether they're rich, whether they're poor. You know how our world moves in these days. Everybody wants to follow anything that is glamorous, anything that looks luxurious, anything that looks good in the eye. But the Word of God says we live by believing, not by seeing. So we as believers, or we who have faith in Christ Jesus, we who are learners of God, we should be humble always. We should listen and imitate how Christ was uh, moving, you know, and how Christ is moving because we are children of God. We must go to our like we must be like our father we must be like our teacher we must be like our highly priest who's who's jesus christ jesus christ is the highest priest you know that is the priest i know that is the father i know so we must be like our king of kings you know be humble always and not be proud you know because it's it, it, proudness i think it's one of the characters of the devil you know because it's a, in whatever we do it's either you represent the devil or you represent God or you represent the kingdom ship, the Trinity, God the Father, the Son and the Spirit in whatever you do. So we must always keep it in mind on on things that we get to engage ourselves into. Whether is this representing God, is this giving God the glory is, you know. Yeah, says a person who's filthy, says a person who's not perfect, says a person who's still going through it, uh, but trusting God's grace to be bring her in place. So I trust God to bring me in place in whatever I get to engage myself into, in whatever I get to 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 do that is not right, you know. So I am talking 
I'm not talking out of perfection, I'm talking out of imperfection. But um, but with the word of God that has that I have been listening to this couple of months, I feel like I'm learning a lot and I feel like somebody needs to hear this out there, you know. And we have to be humble, not resist the word of God. So let us always be humble. And the last lesson, and the last lesson that, that God, uh, that my Lord God has taught me that God is in charge. He told me that He is in charge. And I found that in Romans 9. Let me just look at it quickly. And I found that in Romans 9, it's this. Romans 9 verse 15 he says for God said to Moses I will show mercy to anyone I choose and I will show compassion to anyone I choose God does what he wants the way he wants it to anyone he chooses to show mercy he will show mercy he will show compassion to anyone he chooses to show compassion the word of God it, it goes on I'm not really sure the verse but it goes on and says we are the clay and he is the porter which means he is our creator He's the one who chose on how to create this certain person, on how to create this one, this one. If you could see potters, potters they create maybe a mark or a bowl and they change their mind to create it this way. Or maybe when they've created a bowl, they change their mind that they should like decorate it in a certain way, you know. Same goes uh, to our Heavenly Father is our potter and we are the clay. So we must always remain humble and just let the Lord do what he does best. That is being our King of Kings. That is our Creator. Our Creator deserves to be respected. You know. And the other thing, lastly, the, the, the bonus the bonus lesson. The bonus lesson that I got was not to time God. Was not to time God. And I got to learn that through the grace of the Lord also. He 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 kind of unveiled a message to me through my brothers and sisters in Christ also that I should not time God. I was this person when I pray, I'm like, God, I need this this year, I need this uh, this coming week, and I trust that you will help me out and all that and I relax and think that God will do. God is the owner of time. I cannot just time God and say do this at this certain time. He chooses to give compassion to those he chooses to give compassion. So yeah. Those are the lessons that I got from reading by the way, this couple of months, people, and there are lots and lots of lessons, but I chose to just give this to you to anyone who might find value. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm hoping to see you on the next episode. I'm hoping to see you on the next episode. Bye for now.